Hi everyone, this is Evil Graham 93 and um, I'm going to do a video uh, on uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a while and it's showing all my PS3 games. So um, I'll start things off with Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. Um, this one's good, it's kind of hard a little bit but uh, it's kind of like the male version of Tomb Raider. So you've got, um, instead of Lara Croft you've got this guy here, Nate Drake, who's meant to be a descendant of uh, Sir Francis Drake. So. Yeah, it's okay, definitely worth a, uh, a rent, I'd say. Now, if you like the first one, you've got to get the second one. Uh, it's probably my favourite out of the whole series. Um, and it was my first PS3 game as well, so um, that's great fun. I like that one. I like the whole idea of the Tree of Life thing. Kind of a spoiler, I know, but what can you do? And then we've got Uncharted 3. Uh, this one's okay, but it's not as good as the second one, I don't think, so... It's got kind of, it's kind of epic, really. Like two and three have got really epic scenes in, so uh, that definitely beat number one. So yeah, they're just great just to see all them. And now for some games that I really do enjoy. Um, got the God of War collection. It's got God of War one and God of War two, two very good games. Um, then God of War is my favourite hack and slash uh, franchise. So. Um, and if you don't know what God of War is, it's all based around the Greek mythology stories like Perseus and Theseus. They're all put into one, and uh, you've got the main character Kratos just killing everything, like minotaurs, uh, gorgons, everything. It's great, gory fun. Uh, then we've got the God of War Collection 2 with the PSP games. You've got Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. Uh, they're both prequel games. Chains of Olympus comes before number one, and uh, Ghost of Sparta comes between t uh, one and two. So uh, yeah, they're great fun. Uh, I prefer Ghost of Sparta really to Chains of Olympus because I played that one loads of times when I had it on PS3, uh, PSP, and I never had the Ghost of Sparta. So yeah, it's great fun. Uh, a particular scene that I like in Ghost of Sparta is the Killing King Midas. I think that was brilliant. Then we had the very epic God of War three. Um, yeah, very good film. This is probably got some of the best scenery in the game that I've seen so far, and like the epic boss battles. But like, my two favourite bosses in this have got to be the Hercules boss, and of course the Kronos boss, which is just gigantic boss fight. Um, and brilliant, brilliant. Uh, what do you call them? Graphics. They're just amazing. Great game. I really want Ascension right now. I don't know how much I want Ascension right now. It's just off the off the charts. That's how much I want it. Now we've got um, Dante's Inferno, which is pretty much EA's version of God of War. This one's really good. I do I did like this one. Um, I don't know if you can see. This is the Death Edition lenticular sleeve. You do get some goodies in this. Like um, you get a Dead Space costume, a making of documentary. Uh, you've got two documentaries actually <coughs> sorry about that yeah you just got loads of stuff you know it's just great fun that really enjoyed that one next we've got Heavenly Sword probably the hardest game that I've completed so far it's just that one's great fun as well and plus it's got my favourite voice actor slash actor in it at the moment and it's Andy Serkis and you all know him for playing Gollum from Lord of the Rings so um he just plays a great role in this game. Uh, he plays uh, King Bohan. That's his name, King Bohan. It's great, this game. There's one that I'm playing at the moment. It's Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. Um, really impressed with this one at the moment. I do like it. It's been out a while. I've just seen recently on YouTube that they're coming out with a second one. I watched the trailer and that trailer looks absolutely epic. It's great. Um, right at the end of this game, so... I think after this video I might smash out the ending. Um, it's great fun that. Next we have Bleach, Soul Resurrection. Um, I recommend this one to the anime fans because um, the anime slash ha um, anime and hack and slash fans because it's pretty much a wet dream really because it's a Bleach hack and slash and you can't get you can't go wrong there really. You get to control loads of characters that you like. Uh, lots. Ichigo, Kenpachi, even Grim Joe and Aizen. 
They're all playable characters, and you get to level them up and make them stronger. It's great fun. Um, this is actually a Region 1 game, and I was surprised that it played on my PS3, really, because I didn't think my, didn't know my PS3 was it. Oh, me. It was uh, Region 3. But, um, yeah, great fun, that. <clears throat> oh, got some mixed stuff here. Next we have Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Uh, I do like this one. Um, it basically follows like the main Naruto series from when he's uh, first becoming a Genin right up until the uh, Sasuke fight, and that's pretty much where it ends, really. So, um, but it's all done in the style of a fighter. So, yeah, good fun that. Next we have Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm uh, Two, pretty much the Shippuden series. Uh, it starts from when he comes back with Jiraiya to the pain fight, really. So, um, oh no, actually, it ends with the Sasuke and Killer B fight. I was wrong. Yeah, but uh, great fun. I like this a lot more than the first one. Actually, it's a lot easier going, really, than the uh, first one. You don't have to do so much to get missions. Next is One Piece Pirate Warriors. Um, absolutely love this game. It's great fun. Um, I know I say these about a lot of my games, but I do enjoy playing my video games, and this one is fun. It's a uh, kind of the hack and slash, another hack and slash anime really. Um, get to control Luffy, Zoro, um, Sanji, and all all the characters that you know and love really. Um, but some bits they did forget, like the Captain Kuro right at the very beginning. He's not in this and. Magellan, no, Magellan's in it, who's the one I'm thinking of? Moria, Gecko Moria, he's not in this game either. Um, so some characters they've missed out and I thought they would have been better being in this, but um, that's just me, but good game. Next is Vanquish. This is a weird one, I really wanted to get this when it came out, and I don't know if you can see it's got that lenticular cover where he looks like he's sliding along the floor shooting his gun, but... I wanted this for ages, and when I got it, I played for it once, and I've never played it again, really. Um, it's one of those games where you only play it the once, I think. Uh, it's really mad, like, hectic. Everything's going on, like, everywhere, just shooting everywhere, and it's... It's okay, I guess, but, um... Yeah, I might have to play it again sometime. Next we have Infamous, my second game for PS3. Um, love this one. Great superhero slash super villain. Uh, as soon as you get to choose who you want to be, so um, yeah, love it. I've not played the second one though, but I've heard good things. Next we've got Darksiders. I uh, love this game, it's great, because I like the whole idea of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and as soon as you get to control war in this one, it's just great. Um, I've not played the second one yet, but I do really want the second one, as soon as it's death, so yeah, it's okay, I love, this. I love the storyline in this. <coughs> Next we have Bayonetta. Um, I've probably played it about three times, done the storyline about three times, not in one go, but like, um, during breaks I've been playing something else and gotten stuck on a game or something, I've put it in and played it. Um, I think it gets worse as you go along really, um, played it once and thought it was okay, played it twice, the uh, second time and I thought, mm, I don't know, the third time, I kind of don't like it so I might have to play it again and see if I like it or not, but... I don't know. Next is Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Um, it's pretty much Ninja Gaiden 1 for um, Xbox. Um, really hard game. It's probably one of the only games I haven't completed yet and not even got halfway through. I think I got to the second chapter and I'm still getting owned, so I don't know. <laughs> it's fun either way. It's a ninja game. What more can you want? Then we got Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Um, the Xbox equivalent would obviously be Ninja Gaiden 2. And it's funny because this one's a lot easier than the first one. I've completed it on PS3, but when I put it on the Xbox, because I've got the same for the Xbox, I'm about halfway through on that and I just can't do it. But I've done this one all the way through, so I don't know. Next we've got Terminator Salvation. Um, a lot of my friends got this before me and they said it wasn't very good, but... I actually really enjoyed this, I don't know why, but um, it was fun. Right, down to two more now. 
we have Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Um, the main reason why I got this because I got the um, uh, the one where it's all the dimension, Shattered Dimensions, that's it. Uh, I couldn't think of its name then, but I got that and I kind of liked it and I wanted to try this one as soon as you get to control the black suit as well as the normal suit. Um, I know you get to wear the black suit in Shattered Dimensions, but I don't really like it on that. Um, it was okay. Um, don't think I'd play it again though. Then finally we have Rise of the Argonauts. Probably one of the only RPGs that I played through and completed and absolutely loved really. Um, again it's all based on the Greek mythology so I was bound to like it anyway. So um, yeah it's okay. Um, not as good as God of War obviously but um, it, it was okay. It's just basically taking on another character really that you don't really hear much of like Jason from Jason and the Argonauts, so um, yeah, it's, it's okay, it's fun. So um, that was my PS3 collection, uh, nowhere near complete, obviously. Um, like I said, I really want God of War Ascension. Um, I just can't wait for that one. I really want. That. I keep watching videos on YouTube, and I'm getting really jealous of people that have got it already. So um, yeah, I want that one desperately, and um, I want to get the new. One Piece Pirate Warriors when it comes out, and the new Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Naruto, so I'll be getting that soon, hopefully. And what was the other one I was looking for? for? Oh yeah, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, I'll be getting that as well, so. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subbing if you have, um, and I'll see you all later. Bye.